Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game live commentary uh, gameplay rolling with the spread playbook. All right, so uh, this is going to be the second game I'm playing with the split, uh, spread playbook. Um, first game, uh, very rusty. Played against a guy that didn't really have very any kind of a lab or scheme, um, but he had players that made plays for him, and he had this uh, Terrell Davis card that basically shred me on, def on, on defense. I had a hard time stopping his run, and he had a lot of timely uh, conversions, fourth down conversions, uh, based on his gameplay, um, and I, he... Yeah, I returned to kickoff. He came back and returned to kickoff. It was a, it was a really good game. So we're going to be going against Little DZ uh, 629. Uh, good contrasting uniforms. I love that. It's it's great that you don't have uniforms that are the same. Um, kicking off to him, getting the ball in the second half. This is the way we like it. Uh, and hopefully we're going to be able to go get things rolling with this um, uh, with this team uh, with the spread playbook. Uh, just going to settle in on defense under. Uh, I don't even know what I picked. There we go. So I did a little crossing routes right there uh, and went to the play action drag on the back end side. So let's take a peek at this guy's off or his, his uh, team. All right, so he doesn't have the studliest players. On his team, he's got some pretty good wide receivers. He's got a pretty balanced team. Center sucks, line sucks. But I think he dumped a lot of his salary cap uh, in his defensive line. But he doesn't have great, great players, so we might have a competitive advantage against this guy. And that's probably the reason why this guy is rolling with, uh, with salary cap, because he probably doesn't have the best cars. So, uh, hopefully we can we can make some plays against this guy. All right, Tampa 2, we're going to change that into um, Sam Blitz. And then Cover 3 Sky, we're going to do, we're going to put that as Cover 6. So, nice little angle route right there. And that run was going nowhere. There you go. So pressure off the edge right there against them. There you go. Threw right into the coverage. No pressure coming his way either, so he's going to go for it. I couldn't get out there in time. I just couldn't get out there. I saw the seam. I think I got tied up on one of his other routes, and that's why he was able to get that off. Just couldn't get out there. Nice drop pass, thank you.
little bench switch right there. There you go, so pressure again. That was a nice little block shed. There you go. So pressure again right there. You wanted to play action. And he just had to get rid of the ball. Uh, I just I don't know why he went for it on that type of situation, but that's all right. He got the I got the ball back. Gonna go in, jump into flex. Gonna go ahead and put in a, a Wallye, and our audibles are going to be uh, Texas and four verticals. We're gonna throw in our glitch play, which is gonna be that doubles, and we're just gonna come out of the 0-1 trap. See if we get some good blocking. We gotta know how to this guy. Try to get the line real quick. So pretty good block sheds off the line. I come back to play action. He's in a match, so I think so he's gonna stay in a match. God damn it. The, the animation pulled me towards this blitzer, and that's what freaked me out, and I just got rid of the ball hot. Let's go back to the well with this one. You went in a cloud flat. Oh, I love this. This is just annoying play. Look how annoying that is. I'm holding the turbo. Now I'm going to get killed. Uh, I'm not going to be able to run the ball at all. Until I get that mechanic out of my fingers. Here we go. See? And he got the ball back right there. So he's blitzing. I'm, I'm rolling. I'm, do, I'm doing a play action slide and I'm rolling off to where he's blitzing at. And I should have just, I got, I should have got out of that play. that go. So back to the out again. I've got to I need to do hard flat against this guy.
Good read. Really, really good read. So I gotta go back to the hard flats. He's just he's just beating me up with bench. Oh, that should have been picked off. He threw right in the coverage. Right in the coverage. What happened there? Where was my guy? Where the hell was my guy I'm at? Oh, yeah, I can't see that stuff, guys. I, I was looking for the middle of the field, so I was wondering what happened. It's cool about recording games. You can see that, see that stuff in, the, in action. What he did, uh, but I didn't have enough defenders out there. and played some yellows over the middle, and I tried to put um, a, um, a, ha a flat defender out there, and it just it, there was no one out there. So this guy's just hitting the sidelines against me. Um, that scrambling off to the right just killed me, so it's put me behind the eight ball. I had an opportunity to go ahead and stop this guy, or get an opportunity to go up on him to score, and just gave it up. All right, come on. Yep, come on. Almost broke. Almost broke a return right there. All right, so we're going to go into pistol. Using a lot of this boot drag stuff. There you go. So a big play right there by my running back. You go ahead and get past those guys. He just couldn't get off his block. And right there I'm able to go and, and tie the game up on a big run. So I'll take it. That run was all animation and no stick. It was all it was all the card uh, to be able to break a run like that because uh, I've just uh, I didn't really have any. There was no great moves with that run, so I, I'll give it to the CPU on that one. But that's why you spend uh, 52 cap on a running back for for those type of plays. So, I like Urlacher, man. This guy plays lights out as far as a tackler. So he's just going to keep pounding me with, with bench. Didn't get set up. Thank God I didn't have my, my, my play set up correctly. All 
right, so I'm not getting any guys out there right now. And he keeps throwing to the one side. There you go. Just threw right in the coverage. Didn't even make a read. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so they're gonna come back. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna totally dump that motion slide because he's he's using his defensive tackle, and it it it, it automatically puts me. Uh, Brings me over to him, so we'll see if we can run against him again. Uh, I, I got past him as a user, but I couldn't get past um, uh, his other guy. Just settle. He's playing man coverage. That was a good user right there. I got the ball in the end zone right there, so I'll go ahead and take the points. 33 seconds left. There's plenty of time for him to do something, but he's, he's, he's basically not hitting me up the seams. He's been doing everything on the sidelines. So, uh, he threw right into coverage. He didn't even make a read. He, he didn't have any kind of alternative plan outside of that bench route. So, if that's all he's got, this guy's going to be in some serious trouble. Juke move. Really good juke move right there. Screen. There you go. Let's see a timeout. There you go. All right, so plenty of time, to, uh, enough time to go ahead and get a, a, a field goal here. I was concerned. I didn't want to go ahead and give them an opportunity to get points. Getting points is more important than uh, taking that shot to get in the red zone by going up by another touchdown. It's better to go up by 10 than just be up by 7. So I wasn't too concerned about actually getting tackled short. <laughs> Onside kick, man. So uh, my 10 cap, 56 overall Duvermel card is able to go and make a play for me. So we're going to go ahead and stay once again um, in this formation, uh, which is going to be that flex. Just think it provides me the best option to move the ball against them because I just know my reads a little bit cleaner. 
and some of the other formations I'll be jumping in in this playbook series. There you go. Thank you. Ah, right open. Wide open. I got rid of the ball quick. Just got rid of it quick. Back to the only one trap. Hit him with the inside zone. And no huddle him. Next dagger. There we go. So his defensive back actually made it came down, made a play on the ball. Stay up. So some pretty good running right now with him, but I just don't think this guy's got the, the cards to keep up with this team. Show me through high shell. It's pressed though. He's gotta be awfully annoyed by this whole situation right now. He's got to be pretty annoyed by it. defensive lineman. We should have more people on the line. I was, you can hear me. He's trying to snap the ball. I was just trying to get it off and it just wouldn't snap. So we're going to do the orbit inside. Show that to him once. Hopefully be able to pick up a few yards. Alright, so now uh, if I get back in the red zone again, he's going to be in some serious trouble. If this guy stick, sticks it out, I don't think he will. I think he might be done. And that's it. All right, so I'll be able to go ahead and pick up a victory. This guy definitely didn't have the best cards like the previous guy that I re recently played, but I do want to show you um, how the scheme works. So once again, my subscribers, thanks for your support, guys, and until next time.